Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome, welcome to Invisible Ink. Invisible Ink is a game that I looked at a few months ago, uh, very briefly, and I was like, you know, it looks like it could be a really, really good game, but right now it has roguelike elements and it's really hard, and there's something that just doesn't mesh well about how they're implementing sort of the strategic and the roguelike. Um, but now they've had a few iterations since, and they've done a lot of updates, and I think that it's actually a lot better, and I, I really did love this game at the time, or I wanted to love this game at the time. And now I've just started playing it again, I'm like, actually, yeah. And I like this game, so we're going to have a quick, a quick series. An Invisible Ink. I also love the art style. It's kind of got this sort of badass uh, polygon cell shading going on. Also, that, that trench coat doesn't look like it's particularly good for sneaking. It probably, like, rustles and makes sounds. You don't want to wear a trench coat for sneaking. You want to wear something like a cat suit. Uh, play game! Let's start a new game. Story mode. Normal. Neural disruptors are the shorter. KO. Files are stronger. Alarm stages are more dangerous. Safes, objectives, and guards have fewer credits. That, that sounds brilliant. Um, for my team, I'm going to go with... Banks and International. Now, they have, like, I've unlocked all the characters, um, but the, each of them have got, like, special abilities and so on. So, Banks has Crypto Computer. The Quantum Discrambler implanted in Banks's cranium makes short work of most encryption. Unlocks Security Doors without a pass card. Um, yeah, Security Doors, you know, you need to, like, knock out a guard or at least pickpocket a guard, grab their key card, and then you can open doors. However, that involves, you know, firstly tipping off the guys by, you know, probably knocking them out. Not always, though. If you've got an anarchy level of two, you can actually just pick their pockets. But it, it requires you to at least engage a guard in some way, and it slows things down, and it also requires you to find a guard. And this allows you just to sort of, very early on, just go straight through. And it also frees up an inventory slot, because you need an inventory slot to carry that, that uh, key card. So this, you know, basically, is the cost of a free inventory slot. Also, it allows you to go through the doors straight away without having to worry about grabbing the key card, which is really, really good. International. International has the ability to hack things at a distance. Now, this is pretty tempting to, uh, sorry, not tempting, uh, pretty nice, because um, you basically, through walls, you can just sort of go up, yep, mine, and every time you want to, you know, spend action points to walk up to a console to hack it to get power, you don't have to. You can just walk within five tiles. It's really good. Uh, she also has the custom scanner, which will see any mainframe device within five tiles. So basically, you can get a, get a certain sense of the layout of a map even from just the starting room in some circumstances. So, very good. I, I like both of them. They're both pretty damn nice and tasty. Uh, Banks also has the Custom Paralyzer, which allows you to basically inject a down target, and they are knocked out for an extra three turns, which is helpful. Helpful, especially if you engage someone early on. Now, over here we've got our stuff that we can use to get power, and then our things that we can use to break, like, uh, you know, mainframe devices and files, etc. So we've got, you know, recover power to three at the start of a turn if power is low. Eh. Power drip generates one power point per turn. Fusion. Gain three power point each turn while on cooldown, but then has a four turn cooldown. So, effectively you're getting 12 power. However, it uses five power here. This is, this is its usage. It uses five power to activate. So effectively, I'm making seven power over the course of five turns. Power drip make five power over the course of five turns. But with fusion, you get more power. But if you go below five power and it's off cooldown, you can't activate it because you need that five power to activate it. So fusion is a bit more micromanagey. It is better. It is definitely better. But it involves more micromanager. I'm going to go with Fusion, and as a lot of you are probably like, oh, that's a terrible idea. People who know my gaming style know that I'm terrible at micromanagement. But Fusion is just better. Um, but I will probably forget it, and I will probably end up at below 5 power and go, oh, crap, I can't activate it. That will happen, and I apologize for that. So, ooh, what's this? Oh, a different, a different outfit? Oh, I didn't know there were different outfits. Oh, my God, I'm totally... Ooh, I've just got completely different skills. Generates power and alarm level changes if deployed. Alarm um, level times two equals power. Well, that's really tempting. Uh, I'm going to stick with what I know for now, but I didn't know that they'd introduced these custom... Oh, that's awesome. See, we learn things every day. Um, what I'm going to go for, breaking locks. Now that you've got a choice between... Breaks one power wall, uh, firewall for two power. Uh, breaks one firewall per turn. But that can slow you down a little bit. It's good, but it can slow you down a little bit. And rapier breaks one firewall 
power cost increased by one for each alarm level. So at alarm level zero, it costs one. At alarm level six, it would cost seven. So this is cheaper than lockpick when the alarm level's on zero, and it costs the same as the lockpick when the alarm level is at level one. I'm going to go with rapier because my plan is to just kind of quickly map out the level as much as I can, especially with international, because you get to see network devices through walls. Um, and then, because you're seeing a lot of the level very early on, hopefully you can buy it at the cheaper level of the rapier. Now, as the alarm level gets higher, we're more likely to quit because we don't have the power to do high-level rapier stuff because it's so expensive. You know, as I said, you know, you get to alarm level maybe three, you're taking four power for each firewall, twice as much as lockpick is. But because we've got international and can see through walls, it probably is a little bit better synergy right there. You're about to embark on a hardcore, procedurally generated stealth game. This means the challenges and rewards are different each time you play. You have 72 hours to prepare for your final mission. So basically 72 hours to, to grind for the uh, the boss level. Choose location, to infiltrate, and build up your team and reputation. How you play is completely up to you. But be forewarned, this world is unforgiving. And if your agents expire, they're gone for good. Can your agents survive and uncover the sequence of Invisible Ink? No, I've never managed that, but uh, we'll see what we get. Okay. Bad start. Uh, missions are really far away. Now, of course, you get travel time, so 12 hours. I'm not going there. It's very guarded. Um, guarded, 8 hours. 12 hours. Server farm. 14 hours for terminals. 10 hours for server farm. Okay, so very guarded here, guarded here, guarded here, and guarded here. I'm going to go for the 8 hour because it allows me the options to go over here, but it's also a chief financial suite. We can manipulate the markets to our advantage. <laughs> Pardon me. Which means we can make money. And money as, as a starting thing is a good idea. Because, you know, you something like the Nanofat Vestibule, that allows you to make stuff. That's basically a mission to go get stuff. But you have to pay for it. You have to use money for it. So I think money to begin with is a good idea, because then you can buy stuff with it. A highly placed financial author that has an office in this facility. With his access curls, we can manipulate the market to our advantage. Operator, we've gained the one-time access to facility here. The CFO of the facility should be busy in chess match. Nanofab, his vault codes, while well, he is preoccupied. Uh, na Nab. I was, I was like, Nanofab? No. Uh, Nab, his vault codes, while well, he's preoccupied. Grab a new can, but don't take unnecessary risks. Okay, so I think we need to grab his codes from somewhere. And then go into the vault. I think we have to do two things. I'm not sure. I, I would like it if it actually said what I had to do. Grab vault codes, go to vault. Um, it's been a while since I played this mission. Stop bleeping. Okay, so. Nap his vault code. So we need to find where to nap his vault code. And then we need to get into the vault. Okay, thing agents. Connectionist. I don't know why she's got that accent. Um, right, that's the alarm thing. Cool. Strange that we haven't seen any network devices yet with International. Normally you see them straight away. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you, Central. I'm going to activate the fusion. I'm going to hack these immediately. There we go. So that power generator turned off this laser grid. Hmm, I don't want to go through that door until I'm certain there's no one on the other side. Okay, end turn. Okay. Peek. Aha! A security door! And banks can go through security doors without having to nick a pass key. So, this is a good plan. I like this plan. You can go that way, and International can go this way. So I'm splitting them up to really cover the most ground possible. Disable him to get his cerebral imprint ready for the... Oh! Oh, I have... That's how I get his vault code. What the hell is this? It's a work of art, maybe? Stationary. Okay.
Okay, right. In the meantime, we're going to start hacking down here if possible. Uh, I will have 3 AP left if I go to here. And I'm going to hide back behind here, just in case someone comes out there and turn. Now, having international over here as opposed to banks is probably not the best idea because I wanted international. Uh, I wanted to keep this guy unconscious for a while, and the uh, the serum thing that uh, banks has would be particularly helpful. But oh well, take down. We are digging in his cerebral implant now, but it will take a few minutes. Stay close to the target so I can keep the scan running. Steal. Wow, 450 credits. Oh, yeah. I don't need the pass card. Now, I do need to stay next to him, so I'm going to drag the body. Hide behind here. Just in case, you know, someone chooses to come and have a look where, uh, where their master has gone. Ooh, what's this? Corporate safe. I should probably go to the corporate safe. We'll have a quick look through here. Camera database. Yeah, I would like to hack that immediately. Gives me an idea of the level. Um, okay. And I can start hacking these as well, especially considering we're still on alarm level zero. Boop. 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 There we go. This is why having rapier now is so good, because it's just one power. Bam, 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 bam. Especially if you get something like a camera database, so you can start thinking what you need to hack. And move up towards the corporate safe. I still don't know where my exit is. You've got to look for the elevator for the exit. Uh, the lift... Uh, lift! Lift! The lift is somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so brain scans up one. I think we need to get, like, to six of those. Good amount of money. Move to there. Oh. Whoops. Drag the body. Dump the body. Enter. Okay, let's turn on the power drip again. And it's going to take us two power to crack cameras now, which is annoying. So let's crack that and that. We won't be able to crack this last camera. But we'll do that eventually. Okay, um... Door open! Ooh, a nanofab. We've got a lot of money now, actually. We could use that. There's a corporate safe here. I think what we'll do is we'll get international to hit the corporate safe as we go past. Uh-oh. There's an enforcer. I think they've got armor, and I can't beat armor at the moment, which is frustrating. Still trying to see where our exit is. I can't see a lift for the life of me. We're going to have to probably... Wow, a lot of power here, but I don't think I'll get a chance to use it. Okay. Oh, stay there. You should be good. This is going to be tight. It's going to take two more turns, and in two more turns they're going to be coming through that door. Um, 
Well, let's grab power while we're here. No point in wasting it. We'll hack the nanofab and the corporate safe here. We still haven't got to that corporate safe or this corporate safe. I can't really get out of here because of the uh, the guy aware of this area. This means he's aware. Yeah, so I think we're just going melee reaction. Two guards is a bit of overkill. Hmm. Still looking for my way out. This could be my way out here. This is a double. And I can't see it because the camera's pointed away. But this looks like it could be the lift. Technically there's another room here. And there could be another room over here. But this could well be the lift. The problem is these two guards are really in the way. There's also a room here. These two guards are a pain. Let's grab power there. We should be fine behind this. Got the vault Pascos. I've ejected a mem chip from his port. Grab it and get the hell out of there. Okay. Vault access code. Do I have to find the vault now? It's not going to be easy. Also, I've got no idea which way this guy's going to come in this door. Hide there. Now, the thing is, getting past these guys is really difficult. This guy's looking at this door. These two will just walk straight through there. I would ideally like to access a lot of these things, but for now... Let's put the power on. Booster chip. Uh, and low-level corporate systems, the uh, booster chip automatically breaks down firewalls. Recharges in five turns. Can manually break down two firewalls. Okay, well, you know, that's not bad. See, these two guys are a real pain. Now, firewalls increase. This is the point now. We're at two. It's going to cost us three to break a firewall, but firewalls will be increased, so it's going to cost us effectively four for what the same firewall would cost earlier on. That is, um, pretty painful. Now, finding our way out of here. I can't really go through this room. They walk through here way too often. I think what we're going to have to do is grab them in this room, knock both of them out. I didn't mean to... Whoops. Close door. There we go. This is going to be painful. That's a lot of stuff. But we've got another corporate safe open. Two corporate safes here. Knock these two guys out. I think we'll just have to hope that this is the exit. Knock these two guys out. Move into here. We 
can't go in there because we'll get shot. Ten turn, right. The only thing is, International can't quite get there. <laughs> oh well, let's steal from the safe. Corporate Intelligence. I will pay to upgrade my inventory, and I'll grab the Corporate Intelligence. Oh crap, that guy looks. He'll see me. Uh, not good. If this guy turns this way... I just have to hope he doesn't. Like I could do that, which would be noticed. The guy would this guy would run towards me. Yeah, I, I can't do that, I have to hope. Yeah, I've screwed this up in turn. Oh good. I'm still one tile shy of making it there. Right, I had to run to do that. Melee reaction. Melee reaction. End turn. One down. Two down. And now my attacks are on cooldown. An extra guard in here. This is not handy. Let's steal. Credits and steal. Credits. I need to get through this door. But I can't currently. Banks uses a custom paralyzer. Closes that door after she goes through. If it moves to here, I'm probably okay. And he'll... Yeah, he's going back. Okay. Should probably move international as well. Just on the basis that I need just I need to get here. I swear this is a lift. Come on. Right. He went that way. I have no idea what's here. I can't I can't go there. There's no way I'm getting past that guy. And melee reaction is down for another turn. Which is just grand. Yeah, I can go here and we can then sneak in behind him. That makes sense. It's annoying not being able to go down here, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles. turn. So it's probably just a single room there. I don't know if it's like something important or whatever, but we're not going to be able to go in there.
Yep, that's a lift. Close door. Move over. Melee reaction. Zap. I want your stuff. Eighty credits. Thank you. And away. No cleanup cost. Hundred uh, one thousand eight hundred rep. Client invoice eighty. Yay. Whole bunch of money. Very nice. Ooh. I've got something you might be interested in. I need a quick decision. This thing's hot. Defiblance. Uh, injects little electrical impulses into the heart. Be sure to punch clean through the ribcage. Positive results. Stenex with down agents to use. 10 turns cooldown. Consumes 2 power. No. If someone dies, the chances that, you know, it'll be the person who doesn't have this on them are low. Uh, there was 50-50. And the chance that I'll be close enough to really do it Again, and I shouldn't get killed in the first place, and it's taking up an inventory slot permanently, so I'm not going to go for it. International. International hacking. Level 3. Gives plus 1 power when using the hijack thing. She will be doing that fairly often, because she has the distance ability. So I think we'll do that. Okay. We need to keep moving if these cops get a fix on that location. Oh, yeah, I'm getting all the axes mixed up, but oh well. Okay. Still these four cities. I'm probably going to hit up Bangkok for the server farm. Oh, I could do, um... Where is this? Pe Perth. Yeah, I could do Perth. I, could, I think Bangkok's probably a better one because it's more central. Yeah. I think, I think we'll hit up... Bangkok. But that'll be in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Invisible Ink. If you liked it, remember to like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing because we've got a long way to go and that was a fairly tense mission considering it was, you know, we had a great start to it and it was, you know, a lot of money and it was the first mission, but it was very tense at the, that bit there. They're trying to figure out how to get through that room with two guys. All the electrocutions. It's the best way. Stay shiny.